All right, so come onto your back, knees bent. You can have your feet a little bit wider than hips distance and let the knees fall in towards each other. If you feel comfortable having the arms along the side of the body, you can keep them there or you can bring them up above the head and get a stretch through the chest and open up the shoulders a little bit. This pose that we're doing this evening, it, it really does require your shoulders to be quite open as well as your hamstrings and the side body, quite your oblique muscles working and activated. <clears throat> So just take a few moments here, focus on your breath, breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Just allowing your body to relax. Just breathing deeply and fully. And slowly start to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Really control the movement, so move really, really slowly. Continuing to allow your breath to flow freely. And the next this time you lower your knees or bring your knees to the right, drop the knees all the way down. If you want to move the arms into a different position, go ahead and do so. Breathe deeply and fully here. I want you to feel this stretch across the left hip flexor. It's not a major twist, just enough. And take an inhale and on your exhalation, slowly bring the knees back up and just windshield wipe for a couple more times. And then the next time they come to the left, let them rest all the way down onto your mat. As far down as it will go. Take an inhale and on your exhale, bring your knees back up to center and draw them into the chest. Give yourself a great big hug and squeeze here. Good. Go ahead and release both of your feet to the floor. You can bring them back to hips distance. You can touch the back of your heels with your index fingers. You're going to nod your chin just a little bit. Lift the head and shoulders up. Stretch the arms along the side of the body, palms facing inward. I want you to reach over to the right and tap the outside of the right heel. Come back through center. That's your inhale. And exhale, tap the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze the right side of the body. Tap the heel. Come back to center, exhale, squeeze, tap the outside of the left heel. So keep going with this. Inhale, center, exhale, side bend and tap. 
Inhale, exhale, side bend and tap. You should be on the tips of the shoulder blades, working your oblique muscles. Inhale, center, exhale, tap. Let's go for eight reps now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come back to center. Take an inhale, exhale, bring your head and shoulders down. Draw the knees into the chest. Clasp the hands to the back of the right thigh. Extend your left leg along your mat. Flex the left ankle. Press the back of the thigh and heel down into the floor. Go ahead and extend your right leg up to the ceiling. Flex the right ankle. And you're gonna push through the heel and ball of your right foot. If you feel your lower back pressing into the mat, I want you to move your sitting bones towards me and lifting the lower back off and getting heavy on your sacrum. Relax through your shoulders, hold it here. On your next inhalation, nod your chin a little bit. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Slide your hands further up the leg, maybe to the calf muscle. Pull it in closer to you. And I'll bring the left leg up and lower it down so it hovers along the floor. And bring it back up and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch legs, lower the right leg all the way down to the mat, lower the hands back to the back of the thigh, push the thigh into the hands, and pull strongly on the back of your thigh. So pretty much what we did on the other side. So left leg is up, right leg is down, push through the heel and ball of your left foot, ground down strongly to the right side, hold it here, On your next inhalation, nod the chin, lift the head and shoulders up as you exhale. Slide the hands further up to the calf and pull the leg in closer to you. Now float the right leg up and down. That's one, seven more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower your head and shoulders, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a quick little squeeze, and then cross up the ankles and roll up. Pull the heels into the bum, roll onto your shins and come onto your hands and knees for cat cow. Spread your fingers wide, plugging into the bridge of the hand and the finger pads. Take an inhale, lift your sitting bones in your heart. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, lift, and exhale, round. Two more, move it with your breath. Last one here. And then come back to center. Go ahead and extend your left leg out behind you. Take your right fingertips to the right temple. Elbows need pointing out to the side. Float your left leg up to about hip height. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, bend the left knee and bring the knee and elbow to meet. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch the knee to the elbow. Push them into each other. Inhale, extend. And exhale, twist. Good, let's keep going. Four, five, six, 
seven. And number eight, hold it here in the flex position. Push the elbow into the knee, the knee into the elbow. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And release. Second side, right leg comes back. Left fingertips to the left temple. Lift the right leg up. Off we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Sit back into extended child's pose. Big breath in. You can take the arms along the side of the body. Place your forehead down, make a fist, just to help stretch out your wrist. So make the fist and then curl the fist in and towards your forearms. Release, sweep your arms around to the front again, arms super nice and long. Take an inhale, lift the gaze, shift forward into a kneeling plank. Exhale into chaturanga. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, sit back. Two more. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, back. Last one. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale to the plank. This time, kick down the right foot off of the mat. So you went from here to here. And now shoot the left leg back and roll onto the inside edge of your left foot and move into modified side plank. Left arm is reaching up to the ceiling. Draw the right shoulder blade back and down and look up to the left hand. Go ahead now and float the left leg up. Bend your left knee and grab a hold of the foot with the left hand. Kick into your hand. Keep looking up at the ceiling. Hold it. Slowly release the bind. Bring the left leg down, left hand down. Come back to extended child's pose. Repeating that same sequence on the second side. Inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to the kneeling plank. Exhale, extended child's pose. Two more. Inhaling to the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up to the plank. And this time, exhale, kick down your left foot off. Slide the right leg back and roll onto the left side, moving into your side plank. Good. Flex your right leg. Oh, good God. Your right ankle. <laughs> Slow your leg up. Good stuff. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now go ahead and bend the knee. Grab a hold of your foot. And then go ahead and kick into the hand. And you're looking up towards the ceiling. On your next inhalation, slowly release the bind. Come back to extended child's pose. Stay here for a full breath cycle. Inhale, hold it. Exhale. Inhale, move forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold your dog. Absolute stillness here, or as still as you can possibly be. Come up high into the balls of your feet. Pivot on the balls of both feet and turn your heels to your right and then drop your heels down. If your heels don't touch the floor, that's okay. You just wanna feel the stretch along the left side of the body. Remember this position as well of your feet, of this downward dog, because this is one of the ways or the way we're gonna get into the pose we're doing this afternoon. 
So notice the position of your right foot. Okay. Inhale, come back up through center. On the exhale, pivot to your left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pause here in your downward dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up for three-legged dog. On the exhale, step the right foot to the right hand. Rest your left knee down. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. On the exhale, grab a hold of your left wrist with the right hand and pull yourself into a side bend. Inhale up to center, exhale downward dog. Inhale left leg lifts, exhale left foot left hand, rest the right knee. Inhale sweep up, catch a hold of the right wrist with the left, and exhale pull yourself to your left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, hands to heart. If you need a sip of water before we move on, take it now. All right, so back to Tadasana, feet at hips distance, or a smidge wider. Take an inhale, circle your arms around and up. And then exhale, hinge out your hips into your forward fold. In inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot to the back of the mat. Modify if you need by resting the knee down. Otherwise, sweep your arms up. Exhale, into downward dog, or take extended child's pose. Inhale, plank, full or rest the knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend of choice, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot to the right hand. Sweep your upper body and arms up. Bring your tips to the floor. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale, circle the arms around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back. Lift up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, set the left foot. Come on up. Exhale, into your forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, chair. One more round, inhale up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, lunge, full or kneeling. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg can lift with three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot to the right hand. 
Keep your left hand planted as we take it into a twist. So inhale, sweep your right arm forward. Exhale, open up into a twist. Keep circling your right arm all the way around and bring it back down to the floor. And now step forward into your fold. Halfway lift our monkey. Oh, and come all the way up. Whoops. <laughs> Exhale, sit back into chair. Not sure where my brain went just now. Last time on the left side, inhale up and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Left foot steps way back. Sweep your arms up. Take it into downward facing dog. Plank. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left leg lifts for three-legged dog, left foot to left hand, keep your right hand planted, inhale, sweep the left arm forward, exhale, open up to the inside of the left thigh, continue to sweep the left arm around, place it to the top of the mat, step your right foot forward into your fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, stand tall, circle your arms around and up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Good. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Take the left arm up towards the sky. Shift your weight in, into the left leg. Go ahead and bend your right knee. And grab a hold of the outside of your right ankle. Keep the knees close to each other. Just to really pull your lower belly in super, super strong. Just want you to kick down into the hand as you move the knee back a little bit. Kind of like a baby dancer pose. Keep the ribs drawing in. So you're trying not to let everything collapse. You're keeping everything connected. One more inhale and exhale to release. Change sides, right arm shoots up. Shift the weight, grab hold of the ankle. Use a strap if you need to, use a wall if you need some support. Press down into your left hand at the top of the foot and then start to move the knee back. Keep lifting up, reaching up, hold it here. Big breath in and exhale to release. Bring your hands around behind you and interlace your fingers. Inhale, reach the knuckles down and away from you. And as you exhale, I want you to lift your chest up towards the ceiling. You can tuck the chin in a little bit here. Just trying to stretch out the front body through the shoulders and the chest for chest expansion. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge out your hips, and come into a forward fold. Still keep it the bind, letting your head drop, rest the belly on the tops of your thighs. Lift your sitting bones up to essentially straighten your legs as much as you can here. And keep reaching the arms up and over. On your next inhalation, release the bind, drop the hips, sweep the arms up, and the pass in a chair, hold it. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, take up dog or cobra. Exhale, push your hips up, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, sweep your right leg up for three-legged dog. On the exhale, step your right foot to the right hand. Draw your right hip back, suck the belly in, and now go ahead and lift up into a high lunge. 
Go ahead and hop your left foot in a little bit. Drop your heel, but turn the toes slightly outward. About a 60 degree angle, 40, 60 degrees for warrior one. So essentially, you're trying to maintain the hips and the pelvis pointing straight forward to the front of your mat. So push down strongly into the outer edges of your left foot and continue to draw the right hip back and pull your ribs in. So you should be at hips distance here. So you can just take a quick peek and make sure that you are. Okay, here not to step your left foot out to the left a little bit. From here, moving into pyramid pose, but before we do, turn the palms to face out and bring the hands around behind you, interlace your fingers. On the inhale, straighten out the right knee. On the exhale, hinge at your hips, reach the knuckles behind you to so move the heart forward and stop when you get to halfway. Keep pulling the right hip back, squeeze into the midline, hold it. You're not all the way down yet. Take another inhale. Now on the exhalation, suck the belly in and fold into yourself. Keep moving the arms over so you open up the shoulders. Push down into both feet still. Hold it. Maybe you can shake your head up and all softly. Don't do it too much or you might fall over. Maybe you can nod your head yes. On the next inhalation, start to bend your right knee and lift up all the way up. Pick up the back heel, turn the toes forward. Take an inhale here, transfer the weight into the right leg. Exhale, float into warrior three. Good, keep reaching the knuckles away from you. And keep pushing strongly through the ball of your left foot, the ball of the foot and the heel, turning the thigh inward and picking it up towards the ceiling on the left side. Take another big breath in here and exhale, bend the left knee, release the bind and bring the knee into the chest. So stand up, bring it in, hug it in. And now bend the knee once again, sweep your arms up, step back into your high lunge. Big breath in here, lift the heart up, exhale, plant the palm, step back, sweep the right leg up, flip it into wild thing, come back to three-legged dog, shift forward into a three-legged plank, lower into three-legged chaturanga, take it into up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody with me? Good, left leg lifts. Step your left foot to the left hand. So set your foundation up from now. Make sure your feet are at its distance. Draw your left hip back and then slowly come up into your high lunge. Good. To fix some of those wobbles, hug into the midline and pull your lower belly in a little bit more. <laughs> Go ahead and hop the right foot in just a little bit. So if you were to look at it, you are actually gonna place your heel where the ball of your foot just was. And then the toes are pointing slightly upward. It's not a warrior two, because that will make it really difficult for you to keep your right hip point facing forward. So hold it here. Now bring the arms around behind you and interlace the way that takes a little bit of time to think about. And now inhale, straighten up the left knee. On the exhale, you are hinging at the hips. So send the hips back, move the heart forward and stop halfway. Keep moving the arms up towards the ceiling. Draw the left hip back. Take another inhale here, inflate the rib cage. On the exhale, pull the navel into the spine and fold forward a little bit more to your maximum. If your hamstrings are talking to you, just bend the left knee a little bit to take some of that pressure off. Good, 
Take an inhale, start to bend your left knee, come all the way up once again. Pick up the heel on the right side, turn the toes to face forward. Inhale, transfer the weight into the left leg. Exhale, float into your warrior three with your shoulder stretch on the second side. Good. Looking strong. Inhale, start to bend the right knee, come up to standing position, hug the knee into the chest. And then go ahead, pass through your warrior three, if you will, and step the right foot back, lift up, inhale, exhale, plant the hands, sweep the left leg up, flick your dog, wild thing. Come back to three-legged dog. Shift forward, you can cross the left leg over your right into the plank. Lower into your chaturanga, bend the left knee like tree pose, lift up for up dog, and then press up and back, downward facing dog. Let's pause here for a sec, catch your breath, have some water, maybe wipe your brow, maybe wipe your hands. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice and slow, big breath in, bigger breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Okay, continuing. From downward dog, let's take a little mini vinyasa here. So roll your body forward into plank. Lower into your chaturanga. Take up dog. Exhale, sweep up and back. Downward facing dog. So I'm on, I'm going to show you my left side, but you're lifting your right leg up, okay? Lift the right leg up. I want you to open up the hip and sweep the leg around and tap your toe down. Sweep it back up and across. So you're doing like a half circle. And across. Okay, you do five of these. Okay. So inhale, sweep the leg up and over. Exhale, tap it down. That's one. And two. Good. Like a half circle. Think of a rainbow. Five reps. After you've completed the fifth one, come back to three-legged dog. And step the foot to the outside of your right hand. Rest your left knee. Pick up your right toes and you're opening from the hip, pivoting on the heel to turn your toes outward. So you're in lizard lunge. We're taking it into a quad stretch from here, however, if that is not working for you, or you know it's not anything you like to do, or it's too much for your hips, stay here in your lizard, okay? But if you're happy to go further, what I want you to, whoops, sorry, my block is in my way. What I want you to do for me is take the left hand a little bit out to the left and lean onto that side, okay? Now take the right arm out, Really, really reach. Big breath in. On the exhale, you're going to sweep the right hand back, just, <laughs> just like we did for our twist. Go ahead and bend the left knee. You should not be on the kneecap for this. You should be on that soft spot just above the kneecap. Reach. Turn the palm to face outward and grab a hold of your right foot. Good. Keep drawing the right shoulder blade back and down. You can pull the heel in towards your bum just to get a little opening in the front of the left thumb. On your next inhalation, slowly release, sweep the arm back around, uncurl the left knee, pick the heel off and sweep the right leg up and back for three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up the hip, and now step it back to the top of your mat. 
Drop your left heel and come up, warrior two. Yep, warrior two. Right leg should be in front. So if it's not, change. <laughs> yep, there you go. Okay, that was a mouthful, I know. <clears throat> so just to give you a heads up, we're heading into another standing balancing posture just now, okay? But we're gonna pass through side angle first. So from here, take your right forearm to the right thigh, left arm alongside the left ear. Remember you are free to stop, drop into child's pose if you need to, jump back in or not. Entirely up to you and how you're feeling right now, okay? Go ahead and take your left hand to the left hip, hop the left foot in a little bit. Reach to the upper right hand corner of your mat, transfer the weight into the right leg, float your left leg up for a half moon pose. Take the left hand that's to the left hip and guide the hip to roll it onto your right hip. At the same time, draw your left shoulder blade back. You can stay here, or if you wanna go for a little bit more, bend your left knee, and grab a hold of the outside of the ankle. Chapasana or sugar cane pose. And then you're kicking into the hand, extending through the crown of your head, and hold it there. Inhale, release. Exhale, warrior two. Big inhale, exhale. Three-legged dog, sweep your right leg up and back, flip your dog, wild thing. Come back to downward facing dog or three-legged dog. Roll forward into a plank. Lower into your chaturanga. Bend the knee into tree, lift up for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here for a moment. Now before on the other side, we step the right foot to the outside, but this time, I want you to see if for the fifth rainbow, you can sweep the leg all the way around and plant it on the outside of your left hand. So when you're ready, off you go. Lift the left leg up for three-legged dog. Sweep it around, tap the toe down, lift it up. Tap it down on the opposite side. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So when you bring the leg back up, you're going to have to bend the knee, roll the body forward, use a little bit of core, I know, to get your foot to the top of the mat. Whee! Once you do, pick up the toes, pivot on the heel, move from the hip to open it up, press your right knee down. Okay, just take the right hand out a little bit to the right, lean onto the right side. Walk the right knee back a little bit, steer above the kneecap. Left arm reaches up, big inhale. Exhale, open up into that twist. Go ahead and bend the right knee, catch a hold of the foot. Draw your left shoulder blade back and down, lift your heart up, hold it here. Looking good, everyone. Take a big breath in. On the exhale, slowly release. Come back to that weird lizard lunge. Sweep the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And now step it to the top of your mat. Drop your back heel, warrior two. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction.
Take your inhale, exhale, side angle, forearm to thigh, right arm sweeps around. Left rib cage is moving forward, right is rolling back. Make sure you're not sinking into the shoulder on the right, on the left side. So draw the shoulder back and down, push the form into the thigh. Go ahead now and bring the right hand to the right hip, hop the right foot in just a little bit, shortening your stance. Now transfer the weight into the left leg as you reach to the upper left hand corner of your mat. I mean, it's your half moon pose. So you can guide the right hip to roll and the shoulder to roll onto your left. And then extend your right hand up towards the ceiling. Choosing to stay here or go ahead and bend your right knee and catch a hold of your right foot. Take an inhale, lengthen through the crown. Try to straighten up your knee and open up into your sugar cane pose. This is a classic example of how I think I look in sugar cane pose and how I really look. <laughs> ah, feels like my leg is so much higher. Take one more inhale here. Get ready to exhale in into a warrior two. Take your time with that. Big breath in. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands down into your downward dog. Sweep your left leg up and back. Flip your dog into your wild thing. Come back to three-legged dog or take it into a regular dog. Roll forward into your three or full plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, tree without dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, our big pose is coming up. Take a few breaths here. In fact, I think I'll try to show you this really quickly before we, I guide you into it. Now, if you remember how the, how your feet, remember I told you to pay attention to how your right foot looked when you're in that downward dog twist. There's a reason for that because that's the positioning of your foot for this downward dog. And I am hoping that I can get this done now. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're going to start in downward facing dog. And you're going to, and I would suggest taking a slightly shorter dog than you're accustomed because you want to be able to get your foot firmly planted on the mat. So walk your feet in and then you're going to pivot and drop the foot down. So my left foot is down, it's rounded, and I'm transferring my weight into my left hand. So then you're going to go ahead, you're going to bend, oh, it's good to have a wall here. You're going to bend the right knee, reach back and grab a hold of the foot. Lift your gaze to the top of the mat as you continue to kick into the hand. Okay, then from there, you're going to release it, step the right foot forward, drop the back heel, and open up into warrior two. <laughs> but we're going to try, yeah? Because I don't know what it's going to look like on the second side. But we're going to try. So even if... So let's say for argument's sake, you can't grab the foot, but if you can at least be in that position and balance, take the hand off, take the foot off and just balance, that is the start. So shorten your dog, pivot on the ball of the feet and drop the heel down. You want to plant the left foot. So if the left foot is not firmly planted, shorten your dog even more. Transfer the weight onto the left side. Really spread your fingers wide and hook down into your mat. Nice. Now go ahead, take your time. You cannot rush this. Bend the knee. Maybe that's all that happens here today. You get light on the right fingertips and you just bend the, the right knee. Good. Try it again if you want. Take a few more moments. 
Go slowly. Remember, you still want to be in a downward dog position, so don't roll your body forward into a plant. Keep your butt going up towards the ceiling. Yeah, Amy. From what I can tell. Good. Marley, it's so, it's here in like silhouette. I can really see what's happening there with you. There you are. Okay, yeah. Then come into warrior two. And now step your left foot to the top, drop the back heel, warrior two. All right. Good stuff. Ah, wasn't that fun? <laughs> So you're in your warrior two, turn your right palm to face up, reverse your warrior. Inhale. Come through warrior two, but cartwheel the hands down to the mat and just come into a little twist here. So rest the left knee if you like and just bring the right hand up. Take an inhale, exhale, sweep your right leg up, flip your dog if you want. So you can skip this while thing down vinyasa, or you can continue with the regular one and hurry up to the yogi. Come back to three-legged dog. Cross the right leg over the left, shift forward, three-legged chaturanga, up dog with tree, and press up and back. Downward facing dog. All right, second side, are you ready? Let's see what we got. So shorten your dog. Come up high into the balls of the feet, pivot the feet to the right and drop the right foot. Okay, so right away, just lean onto that side and come up onto the left fingertips. Bring the left knee into your chest. Okay, just hold the left knee into the chest. And now take your left hand to the left knee. And now just open it up and slide the hand down to the shin. And keep looking to the front of the mat and just kick and open up. Go slow. Good. And now you can release and step your left foot to the top of the mat. Good job. Drop the back heel and come on up into your warrior two. Yay. You should take a moment and acknowledge your awesomeness and give yourself a round of applause. No? Okay. Tough crowd. <laughs> Reverse your warrior, everyone. <clears throat> Easy, smooth sailing from here on out. Inhale, warrior two, exhale into your twist, knee down or off, your choice. Left arm lifts. Left hand to the floor, sweep the left leg up and over, flip your dog. <laughs> Three-legged dog, whoops, choose. Meeting up and downward facing dog. Ah, come up high into the balls of your feet. Bend the knees, lift your gaze to your thumbs and you're gonna jump or step. But when you do, don't go yet. When you get your feet to the front by your hands, cross the ankles. So just make sure they're crossed so then you can just roll and sit. All right, this is like a less touch kind of thing. <laughs> Sweep the legs, pull the legs through, bring them out in front of you. Everybody okay? We're nearly there. In case you didn't remember, this class is 75 minutes. <laughs> okay, just gonna play the boat pose a little bit, just a little bit. 
but we'll start with some leg lifts first. So just make sure you're about halfway down your mat. Now, my arms are quite long in relation to my torso, so my hands need to be a little bit further forward. Maybe yours can stay here, so you just have to try and see what works for you. You're gonna straighten your legs out, and you can either flex or point, it's up to you. I'm gonna go with pointing. Squeeze the legs together. Hold the belly in, round your spine. So you're on top of the sitting bones here. You're gonna suck the belly in and roll behind them. Press down either into your fingertips or the palms, and you're lifting your legs up and down for 10 reps, okay? Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, push into the ground, it's gonna help. Eight, nine, and 10, and release. If you can make a fist for the wrist, bend your knees, and just lift the hips up, just to get a little release, and also take care of your wrist, and then come back down. Boat pose, your feet don't need to leave the ground. You can roll behind the sitting bones, keep the big toes down, hold your arms out, keep your chest lifted. But if you want to take it further, feet come off, you can stay here. If you have it in you, straighten your legs out and hold it with me for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release. Check where you are on your mat. Come all the way down onto your back. <clears throat> Keeping your knees bent. We want you to walk your feet as wide as the mat. And let's go back to what we did at the very beginning. Arms out to the side or wherever and just slowly bench your wipe your knees from side to side. <laughs> Bring them all the way down to your right. And from here, you can, I want you to hold that position first where the legs are staggered, and then you can take it a little bit, in fact, don't take it further, I'm, I got you. So just stay here, get that stretch along the left side, and then we'll do the same thing for the right. Take an inhale, on the exhale, tone your belly, bring your knees back up, and just let them fall over to the left. You can look to the right. So we're gonna finish up our class lying down. <clears throat> Go ahead and come back to center. Keep the knees bent, cross your right leg over the left. We're moving into recline pigeon pose. So bring the knees in and interlace the fingers around the back of your left leg. Keeping your right ankle flex, you can relax the left.
straighten out the left leg. Uncross the right and extend it along your mat, moving into a hamstring stretch. So if you can, comfortably grab a hold of your calf muscle without the shoulders lifting up, the shoulder blades lifting up off of the mat. Go ahead and do that. Otherwise, keep your hands to the back of the thigh. <clears throat> you can circle through the ankle here, both directions. Take the arms out to a capital letter T position. Take an inhale and on the exhale, move your left leg all the way over to your right. You can bend your knee once it gets as far as it will go. The right hand can help bring your left knee closer to the ground as long as it still feels okay in your spine. Come back to the capital letter T with the arms straighten up the left leg. Take a big breath in and exhale, lift it all the way back up. And then extend it along the mat with the right leg. And just pause here for a moment. Okay. Second side, bending both knees, crossing the left leg over the right. Clasping the hands at the back of the right thigh and bringing them into the chest. Put your recline pigeon on the second side, flexing the left ankle and relaxing the right. Go ahead and straighten out your right leg. Uncross the left and extend it fully along your mat. Moving into your hamstring stretch. Circling the ankle, both directions.
Go ahead and bring your arms into that capital letter T. Take an inhale and on the exhale, slowly lower your left, your right leg, sorry, to your left. And bend your knee once you get the leg all the way over, using your left hand to deepen the twist or not your choice. If your foot isn't touching the floor, you can always hook the foot on the back of the extended leg. Or if you have a pillow or a block or something, your body rest it on. Bring your arms back to your capital letter T, straighten up the leg. Take an inhale, exhale, lift it all the way up and over, and now extend it all the way down along the mat. Let's pause here for a moment. We're just gonna take it into a happy baby and then you're heading into <clears throat> corpse pose, or you can, you're free to do any other pose you might wish before you head into Shavasana, choice is yours. <sighs> just take a moment. And then go ahead, bring the knees in. Either grabbing hold of the big toe with your peace fingers or the outside edges of your feet. Bringing the knees off and either side of the body. And just hold it here. Nice long neck, shoulders away from the ears and you're really moving down through the shoulder blades and your sacrum, lower back is off. When you're ready, you can release it, either coming into, like I said, corpse pose with both legs extended or offering up, recline butterfly, soles of feet together, knees out to the side. You can stay here for a few moments and then extend the legs fully if you wish. Mm -hmm. If you are going to stay with the knees bent and the soles of the feet together for your Shavasana, I would recommend supporting your knees with um, a block or something so you don't overstretch your inner thighs. So just taking a few moments here to really relax, settle in, making whatever adjustments you need to make so that your body feels completely supported and relaxed. Turning your attention inward. And just focusing on your breath. Breathing in and out through your nose. Allowing your body to sink deeper and deeper into relaxation with every exhalation.
Once again, becoming aware of your surroundings, becoming aware of your body on your mat, or even with your fingers and your toes. And reach your arms above your head, hook your thumbs in. Take an inhale, reach the thumbs and the fingers away, the toes or the exhale, pull the thumbs apart. Take another big breath in, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Then exhale, pull the thumbs apart, release strongly through the mouth. And go ahead and draw the knees in, give yourself a huge hug. And then bring your feet to the floor and roll onto your side. And just pause there for a moment. And then very carefully, taking your time, make your way up and join me in a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together and interlacing your fingers. I just want you to make a couple of figure eights here. In both directions. Don't forget to change directions. When you change directions, your figure eights are gonna look more like, um, I don't know, zeros. <laughs> Good, then release. Bring your hands into the Anjali Mudra, pressing the finger pads. And the heel of your hands into each other, placing it by your heart. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me this evening. And trust me to guide you through your practice today. Be free, be true, and always be you. Namaste.